Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me. How are you doing today? I do hope you're doing good, and I do hope you're doing great. I do hope life is treating you good. Awesome. Welcome to my video. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Please join the family by clicking on the subscribe button, leaving me a thumbs up, and sharing the video with friends and family. And if you are a returning subscriber, God bless you so much. I really appreciate you. And you know I do not take you for granted. Thank you so much um, for always tuning in. And let's get into the video, guys. So, guys, today is also another video. Um, it's... Um, a true life story of someone that I would like to bring to you guys and I would like us to talk about um, I would like us to discuss regarding the scenario of what happened in this person's life or in this people's life um, there is a family um, a single mom she had a daughter and um, she has been living with her child for several years they have been getting along they have been trying to make it work the mom has taught the daughter how to cook how to like be responsible to which she feels now the mother works she does work a lot she works two jobs just to make sure that she's able to meet ends meet to, um and then while in the process of living their lives she meets a man, they fall in love, and they get married. Now, she already has a house that she bought. And the man actually moved in with her and her daughter. And, um, yeah, so they have been living together. They were living together um, in harmony, as she felt, until her daughter became 18. The day her daughter became 18, her world changed totally. Her world just crumbled. Oh, I'm getting a delivery. Thank you. Um, so her world changed totally that, she, in fact, she just couldn't stop she couldn't even cry because what happened was so devastating and so painful that she just kept <laughs> recounting things that sounded important but not what was supposed to be said that was the day she found out that her 18 year old child was having an affair with her husband. You heard me right. Her 18 year old and her husband became exclusive. That is to tell you that he was intimate with her before she was 18. They were dating secretly while she was still a minor on the, the same roof. And when she confronted him and asked him, why? Why would you do this to me? Why my daughter? She's a kid. And what he said was so stupid. I felt like reaching through the screen and asking him, don't you have a brain? And he said, because she, the daughter is the one that always cooks for him. The daughter is the one that is always home with him whenever he feels lonely. The daughter is the one always at home with him whenever he needs to talk with someone. Mind you, this is a grown-ass man. His wife works two jobs. He is a bum who sits at home all day, who is supposed to be working from home. Unknown to the wife is he doesn't work. She bought him a car. Well, his name is on it, so it's his. Um, and she pays the bills. She takes care of their finances. 
basically she's taking care of him and all he could say is because the daughter cooks for him the daughter is the one that is there whenever he's lonely the underage child is the one there whenever he needs a companion I really didn't I, I I was I was so dazed I was I was shocked because how can a person be thinking like that because you I'm cooking give me a second he and the daughter I went to I went outside to get I went outside to get my um, my delivery so what I was saying, he and the daughter actually left the home on the day of the daughter's 18th birthday. Immediately they went, um, immediately they went exclusive or immediately they went public. Uh, they moved and the daughter kept telling the mom, you are not home. So why should he stay with you? You're old. You're old. Why should he stay with you? And the mom kept saying, you have the money to spend for her you have the money to spend on her um you never take care of bills in the house you never do anything when i ask you to do but yet you are moving to another apartment which you got um and you had no money to spend here in the house to which i i paid for and basically i am paying for and he threw he had some dollars some cash wrapped in his hands um of 20 20 dollars he had some bundled up in his hand and he threw it he was in a car with a daughter and he threw it on the road and said if it's because of money she's following him and recording him she should go ahead and have this and he threw that balled up money at the mother now I liked what she did. She picked up the money on the floor. Um, the person that was with her was like, uh, she should leave it and leave the road. And she was like, no, it's money. I do need it. He might have left, but this is money. I would not leave it. It's, it's going to pay the light bill at least. Um, so she picked up the whole money he threw at her on the road and he drove off with the daughter. So guys, as usual, my question is, who is at fault? Is it the mother's fault for working two jobs and not having enough time for her husband or her daughter? Is it the daughter's fault for being at home and being a shoulder to lean on for her mother's husband whenever he needed a shoulder to lean on? Or is it her fault for liking an older person or her mother's husband because her mother didn't have time for the husband because she was working two jobs to provide for them? Is it the husband's fault who already has a wife that is taking care, basically taking care of him, the daughter, the house, and their finances? Um, is it his fault for liking a minor, being intimate with a minor, and then going public when she, the day she clocked 18. Whose fault is it? Is it the wife's fault for not allowing him to actually pay for certain things in the house, for actually manning up to take charge of finances in the house, guys? Who do you say is at fault? Because I don't know where to, I know who I blame, I know who I blame, but who do you think is at fault, guys? Who do you feel is at fault? Because this is a very dicey topic and um, a lot of people would have uh, their opinions because um, what goes on in my society might not be what goes on in your society. So that is why I am asking um, to your own understanding, to your own view, who is at fault? Please, guys, let's talk about this in the comments. Let's discuss. Let's try to 
um, bring awareness to who is at fault. Let's try to discuss who we think is at fault and why we think they're at fault. And let's give scenarios, let's give reasonings, let's bring understanding to what needs to be understood so that if there is someone that needs understanding, they can understand. If it's the mother's fault for not having time, we can shed light to it so that most women that are working two jobs and trying to take care of the family would try to stop working so much or making a lot of money and um, hold back and let the man take the lead and make money, more money, so that they would have time for the husband themselves and their child. And, or if it's the child that because the child is not his, um, maybe there's a reason. Guys, please let's discuss in the comments because this is a dicey topic and a lot of us need understanding. We need to like see and know what's going on we need to discuss these are topics that we need to like get used to talking about so that we'll bring awareness to so many things a lot of people have questions and discussing about things like this will help so many people answer their questions there are people that cannot come out and talk there are people that are going through so many things but they cannot come out and talk or ask questions so we ch ch chatting in the comments leaving comments discussing um giving scenarios giving reasons why what is not supposed to be what helps a lot of people guys so please 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 leave your comments down please guys leave comments down let us discuss let us try to create awareness of so many things that are shied upon so many things that some people don't like talking about let's try to start making it common to talk about we may be helping some people um i'm going to go ahead and unbox this um item with you guys here yeah and it's just one box so i don't think it's something that needs to be to we'll have a video dedicated to itself alone um oh my battery is almost gone <laughs> Let me quickly unbox this and show you guys what I got. And it is from Ulta. I don't know if I said that earlier. And I went ahead and I got the vacation candle. Oh, I said candle. I went ahead and I got.